Yo, yo, what up? Got my guy, none other than Black Ice Cartel, John Doe. You wanted to holler at me? What's good? What up with you, man? Ain't nothing much, yeah. man. Just chilling. I, 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 um, I got to peep that two on two. Vixen, Hustle, QP, Bankhead. You know, y'all do, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you from the start, y'all do a lot of dope battles, but for some reason or another, them two-on-twos be hitting heavy. That QP and QP versus DNA, K-Shine, that's still one of the heavy ones. That official, man, I mean, not official, that, 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 that Hustle and Vixen, crazy. Man, man, we appreciate that, man. We we spent a lot of time in the lab putting them, them battles together and, and you know, helping people take notice and, and, and check them out, man. Yeah, yeah, I like what y'all, I really love what y'all, when y'all, you know, the effects, when they hit the battles, you know, a lot of people watch the battles, they love the effects that y'all put on them. We've seen, you know what I'm saying, we're going to keep it thousand this whole little, this whole, this whole conversation. We've seen people try to imitate them before. You know what I'm saying? We have, we have, but they ain't never gotten close. You know what I'm saying? They ain't never really got close to that authentic feel of y'all, um, Graphics and y'all, 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 all of that. Now, let me ask you before we get into real stuff. What, what, what made you even start taking the graphics and highlights and everything? What, what, where, where did that start? Um, it started with just wanting to be different. If you look back seven years ago when we first started, nobody really cared about what their battles looked like. Nope. They barely cared about what they sound like. And people mm-hmm. ate it up, and we thought mm-hmm. like you know, if 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 we're gonna be involved in this, in the capacity that we plan to, it's gotta look good, it's gotta sound good, it's gotta be an entertaining battle. You know what I'm saying? Like these are things that like we can only put our name behind, and nobody else was on that. I'm a creative person, man. Like I'm a tattoo artist. Like that's my career. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Battle rap, videography, like. I do that, but uh-huh. tattooing is my career. So being being creative is is what I do. Right. So so it was just one so of those you, things where like it was it it was to help people who never seen battle rap understand what they should be reacting to and what's hot mm. and why the crowd was crazy. Mm. And another thing that I noticed about y'all is the angles that y'all shoot your battles from are different than anybody else's angles, you know what I'm saying? Like, that whole, the different sides, like the panoramic side, like the views is different than just straight up how people, a lot, like damn near every other league shoots the battle straight in front of the battle. Y'all do angles from the side, angles from the back, and, that, and obviously that does add a different dynamic to it too. I mean. Yeah, if you watch yeah. the battles, if you watch the battles, any other, or anybody else's battles, in our battles, we want you we want the person who's watching the battles to feel like they in the middle of two people battling. That's mm. the point. That's the yeah, because the camera, it doesn't really be on both people at the same time. It, like, goes from, it pans from, it's crazy. It, it, it's crazy. It, right. it definitely is. That effect is uh is super dope. So when you guys put out good ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, I try to catch most of them, but definitely when I, I see it, the, how you how you started with the bankhead getting him together? He started popping. Then I see bankhead versus um you know what I'm saying a lot of his battles that he had that literally got him you know the buzz and started generating the name for him. And obviously you know the QP the clean papers because you know a lot of leagues had whatever issues they had with clean paper. But y'all always <laughs> seem to have a pretty good rapport. But um what I wanted to ask you about you know what I'm saying what we here for is uh none other than you had Chef Trez battling against Danger Zone. Um, a battle that I heard happened and I heard was pretty good. He hit me up because he wasn't happy that he heard, I don't know if this is true or not, that he heard the battle was supposed to be released on the URL app and he's not seeing eye to eye with that league right now. Now I'll let you get the floor, you know what I'm saying? You can give us your opinion or what's supposed to be happening versus what's not supposed to be happening because he definitely um, felt the way about it. Yeah. Um, so the thing with Trez, I listened to y'all interview. I only listened to all the way up into the part where he was like, I'm just not rocking with niggas no more. If he said that, I turned it off. I ain't going to lie. But okay. I just went back and listened to all of it. All of it. Um, mm-hmm. So this is our thing. 
I'm gonna start from the top of the interview where he said niggas need to learn how to promote or or uh, pr- promote their brand or some shit like that. So yeah, in this thing that we've been doing for seven years, seven years we've been doing this consistently, dropping fire cars consistently. Now mm-hmm. main m- mainstream battle rap bloggers are not always pushing cartel. If at all, unless right. there's some drama involved. So we've been doing mm-hmm. it. Everything we do okay. is to promote our brand because you can't depend on Ballard to promote your brand. You can pay no. them, they can sign contracts, you can you can you can take a fucking Tinky Swear Blood Oath and they will not fucking promote. Mm-hmm. You know, this is just something that, that, that is just bound to happen. So rather than sitting here and depending on somebody else to do what they're contract what they're contractually obligated to do, we make moves to promote our brand, to get our subscribers up, to get our people, to get more people to see this thing. We don't need to sell this thing. People just need to know that it exists, and they're gonna mm-hmm. they gonna buy it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like our shit is like is, is is like unstepped on like straight up, because when we put it out, we more like a boutique. We ain't like Walmart. We don't just throw out anything. We put out shit yeah. that's carefully taken care of. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when you sign that contract and you and you receive a certain amount of money, you no longer have say of what happens to that to that material. Mm. You okay. agreed to that. That was not my intent when we came to this agreement, but the option came up and I said, you know what, I want to see what this do. This was okay. this is what everybody who sat at the table and who decided that this is what we was going to do is what we did. Now, the one thing that we did not do right is that we should have reached out. Mm-hmm. But the hey, negotiation, the but, thing that see, like, came along with, huh? See, um, and, and I, want you to, I want you to hold your idea. I mean, hold your thought. I don't want you to lose your thought. I want you to get that out. What I was going to say was the reason probably why he voiced his opinion and got so pissed was because it was the second time in a week that it happened. You know what I'm saying? So it's like his battle with Snake just dropped on another on the, on the app, and now he's turning around. And I know you guys don't have nothing to do with it because it's two separate leagues, but I think that's why the concern came out like, well, damn. I think he said something to the term of URL doesn't want to book me with names, but they will try to get all my footage from every other league, and that's the reason why he started snapping like that. But anyway, you said that was the decision yeah. that all parties involved came to? Yeah, everybody, everybody over here at Cartel came to that decision. And that's what we was gonna do. Now, like I said, the one thing we did not do right was reach out to him and tell him. However, mm-hmm. before he even got on your show or on your call, um, I reached out and was like, "Yo, are we good or what's up?" Trying to mm-hmm. trying to open up some dialogue. I hit him on his manager. I hit him on Facebook and I hit him on his cell. Mm-hmm. Like I did that. I don't, I don't, right. I don't be tracking people like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, I'm the person that gets tracked. Like, I'm busy as shit. Like, but I did this because I'm like, you know what? Let's get this figured out before this thing drops. And I want to let him know. You mm. know what I'm saying? But what happened with him and Snake Eyes has nothing to do with Cartel. Just like Facts. what happened with us and Twerk has nothing to do with him. Facts. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, like you gotta treat people by the situation. Not by other people's situation. Like, yo, you came mm-hmm. down here, you had a great time. We, like, everybody was, everything was everything, bro. Every accommodation that you needed was met. Everything and more. Right. Right, right, everything. right, right, right. No, I feel you. We gotta talk about particulars, man. But he know, he know we solid. He know we solid. Like, that's the thing. Like, everybody who got something to say bad about cartel or whatever, it's like we don't always answer that shit. But this part, mm-hmm. he was just like, damn, that's fucked up, bro. That's fucked right. up because when you came here, we looked out. You gave us good product, and we looked out. It was all good. Like, we accommodated your business. Like, we did all kinds of shit for you to, to make sure that everything was Gucci, bro. And then you, mm-hmm. like, this is this is how you throw us under the bus. Like, you tell people we, like, like that we this, we that, we probably ain't going to say shit about it. But you say we're doing bad business. Like we gotta answer that because that's what we pride ourselves on. We pride ourselves on the business, right? And you know, I I, I watch you guys um, from I'm talking way way back in battles that people might not even remember. I obviously remember you had 
the best one ever, well, to me, one of the best ones ever, the Arsenal versus QP, that was legendary. Uh, QP versus QP was legendary off the card that the grudge mm-hmm. joined. That happened years ago. I'm talking about y'all been around doing this for a while. I mean, y'all had Clips and Danger, and then you had QP and JC. I could literally run uh, 10, 15 battles of y'all that I remember, vividly remember, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't know y'all for doing bad business, and I never really heard of y'all doing bad business. But what I what, what he was saying was that the battle was supposed to drop on URL with no effects, and he didn't he wasn't feeling that. Now, can you speak to that? Was that the case or that's not the case? <clears throat> so, so that was the case. The battle was going to come out on the URL app without effects. Mm-hmm. Because when it comes back to us, it gives people incentive to watch it again through another experience. Mm. It's all promo. You know what I'm saying? Like none of this is like malicious or, or meant to make him look bad. You don't pay somebody and then make him look bad. That don't make sense. Right. No, I'm trying to put promotion in your pocket and you try to put promotion in my pocket. And hopefully we can come back together and do it again. Right. No, I feel you. I definitely feel you in, in that regard. But um, like I, you, yeah, bo- you guys true. both have, you guys both have a valid, a valid concern. Like his concern was that it, it, this started happening without him being reached out to, and y'all concern was definitely the fact that uh, you don't want to be looked at or viewed as pr- promoting or doing bad business. Well, you know nobody... well, I mean, like, like, like this is the thing. He said that we should have reached out and. Instead of replying to me reaching out, he hopped on the phone with you and started talking. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm-hmm. like, 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 I would rather him have hopped on the phone with me and been like, hey, man, mm. this is how I feel. And then we would have been like, oh, man, we can figure this out. Just like we do every time. Right. Just like we do every time. Mm-hmm. Like, 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 that's the issue. So it's like, if this is the way we got to communicate this situation, then, then, then let's have it be done because... We didn't do anything wrong to Chef Trez. We didn't do no bad business okay. by him. He got everything he wanted, and 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 we straight up like accommodated him, man. Like, um, the battle will not be coming out on the app. The battle is going to go straight to Black Ice Cartel. Which so it's not coming out on the app no more. It's not. Well, now what, what? What? Now you know you might, we 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 keeping the thousand. You know what I'm saying? Did this did this change today? Or, like, what happened? Like, I, it was supposed to be coming. What happened? I mean, I can't say when it changed, but it changed. But, okay, it changed. Yeah. Okay, so it's coming out on the on Black Ice with the effects. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think that, uh, I personally think that regardless of how it would have went down, I'm sure it's going to still be fire anyway. But I think that, you know, we, it's just a thing that, and this is just me. I have no vested interest in any side. You know what I'm saying? As a fan, I'm not going to lie. I do gravitate more towards y'all battles with the effects the way you do them. You know what I'm saying? I, and I'm not going to lie. To see that battle come out with no effects and it's a black ice battle, I don't know, bro. Like I, that's, a, that's a mitigated risk in itself because out of 100 comments, it's going to be 75 saying no black ice effects, no black – you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, you know how you know how fans are. Yeah, man, I know how it is, man. But but at the end of the day, it's like, man, you gotta you gotta give people another incentive to watch it at home. Mm-hmm. You know, you can watch the bars, man. We can, man, we can chop up a battle and make that shit look fucking lovely. You won't even notice you need effects. For mm-hmm. real, like like the effects is cool, but man, the way we chop is like, come on, man. Like our whole like our whole presentation is not just the effects like yeah niggas gonna want that but if you really want that when it comes out on black ice channel you can really see that as many times mm-hmm. as you want <laughs> you know what i'm saying right 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 right, right 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 take an extra step and also back to that trash thing it's like we didn't know about a situation with url had we known oh about y'all didn't that, even know we didn't no. know had we known about that like i definitely would have been like hey man by the way we'll watch the band like it didn't happen. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. So that's another thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, this ain't like, this ain't even the even smear dude. This is just to set the record straight on us. You know what I'm saying? Right, and right, right, right. We handled that situation very carefully. And, and 
And I don't understand how somebody who did great business with us can get on the phone and say that it's bad business and bad promotion. Like it's right. like if you're if you're giving your battles to a bigger league with a million subscribers, I mean like that might mean something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. just like you go battle in other places to further your brand, we, we take other ventures to further ours. Okay, I understand. You know, no. like 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 niggas don't remember like when D C and fucking Marvel work together. You know right, right, like, right, 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 right. To build, it work, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now to get into the business, because really it's no business of mine and no business of anybody else's. You know what I'm saying? We're just speaking from a strategic standpoint. You and you guys have never had any battles on URL on the app. You know what I'm saying? Bankhead has had a couple, you know, battles here and there, but none of them have dropped. Nothing to where I could really feel like uh, Black Ice you know, somebody that's really, really related to y'all or that y'all really back like that. Besides Clean, but Clean was on for a while. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about new age coming along now. Um, unless I'm bugging, I didn't really, I haven't really seen them URL back any of these artists. People have got little shots here and there. Is you trying to work, are y'all working on a situation to try to, you know, get some of your artists seen or what, 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 what are you, what, what's the plan for Black Ice? Man, we trying to, we trying to further relationships with, with, with every platform and entity that can possibly further the direction we try and go in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, like, battle rap business, right? Business is not about holding grudges and, and letting emotion push you in a direction. Like, shit may go sour on something else. That don't mean that you got to fucking throw the whole thing away. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes things just got to go back to the drawing board. It's just that simple. Right. It ain't got to be, like, a whole beef about it. Niggas get it confused. Right. You know, business fall apart. Ideas fall apart all the time. You just get back up and try again. You ain't got to throw the whole person away. Right, 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 right. And I, I mean, and from knowing, like I said, and, and, and leading back to the situation with Trez, like knowing him, I know he's a hot head. I know he can fly off the handle. He's still young at times too, but you know what I'm saying? That's my man. So when he hit me up earlier, I, he, 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 he was hot about the situation. But like I said, I think it was more so, because nobody spoke to him about it. And now that I'm hearing both sides of the situation, I get where he's coming from, I get where you're coming from, and it's business at the end of the day that, uh, you know, you guys are handling your business and you're handling things for your league the way you feel like it's best to, and you're not just making an impulse decision, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think that it could continue to um, – y'all can continue to grow. Now, uh, how was the battle? Because, I mean, shit, now, how was it for that much? Uh, battle was fire, man. I mean, you know, man, you know what Danny's going to do. You know mm-hmm. what Danny's going to do. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know what, what Trez do. Like, they both did it. Like, it was, it was, I mean, like, this is my thing, man. Like, battles that come out like this don't get the praise. You know what I'm saying? Like, the bloggers mm-hmm. ignore it. Most of don't talk about it. Don't nobody want to, you know what I'm saying? But but this is, like, this is the bread and butter right here. This is why. This is everything, yeah. and you know what I'm saying? It's going to do what it do, man. It's fire. It's super fire. I yeah, we will, of- um, <clears throat> we will definitely be recapping it because, I mean, there's no way. Like, man, one thing I will say about me and my guy Showtime SP is that we try to pride ourselves on the good battles, especially when y'all did uh, the Bankhead versus uh, Danny, and then when you did uh, and then when you did um, no Bankhead versus JC, and then when y'all did um, – my bad, Danny. But when y'all did – um. The two-on-twos, I remember we recapped that, and then most recently the, the newest two-on-two, you know what I'm saying? When y'all have these fire ones, I know, like you said, a lot of platforms might not look at them, but we definitely try to make sure that we're talking about them because people need to see those battles, you know what I'm saying? Because I know you put a lot of work into those graphics and a lot of work into making those things happen, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, definitely, man. I mean, I just don't understand why it's not, like, why it's, like, I don't know, man. It is what it is. But, like, you know, we, like, do what we do, man. But, like I said, as far as mainstream, like, like bloggers, if there's not some, some drama attached to it, niggas don't care. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's not a – if a nigga get clapped at an event, everybody going to be talking about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to be top five forever. <laughs> All it takes is for somebody to die. But, you know what I'm saying? But if it's a positive event, 
where everybody makes it home safe and the battles are good and y'all put out a fire battle with, like, the two-on-two. This should, that two-on-two should definitely be talked about by everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason. The, the, Q, the, the, the hustle in them versus QP and Bane, come on now. That's one of the better two-on-twos I've seen this year. Man, we got some fire, man. What do you see this Chef Trez versus Danger going, man? Yo, how long you think how long you think you gonna you gonna take to swing that around? I mean, I don't need a specific date, but what you think? You thinking weeks, months? What you thinking? They're like next week around. Uh, you okay? Okay, you you wait, wait, wait. You know, I don't want you to give away none of your game, but if you lock in, how long it takes you you to edit the battle the real way? If you lock in, like I'm gonna get this done, a day, a week, two days, three days. If I lock in, it's three days. It's going three days. It's it, 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 it legendary yeah. for the three days. If I lock in, it's three days. Three wow. days is is is, is uh, Arsenal and QP. Three days is QP versus QP. Three days is is, is fucking uh, shit. Danger Zone versus Lot of Zay. Mm-hmm. Three days is Danger Zone versus uh, Newborn. Big T? Big oh, okay, T. y'all, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Danger Zone versus Newborn. Oh, Newborn, Newborn, Newborn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, that was fire. Danger Zone versus... I really, I, I, I honestly do not feel like, and, like, I'm saying this because I, I mean it, and I know it sounds biased, but I honestly don't feel like there's a league out there that's got a better resume of bars than we do. It's like we have the longest consistency of stretches of like classic battles. I've I've, I've not right, seen right, it right. nowhere like per capita. But that like, that, that big T versus Danger Zone was edited crazy too though. That big that big T versus Danger Zone with the boots was crazy off of the yeah, that was three days. Zone. That was crazy. That was three days because because that whole card like corrupted and fucked up. It corrupted, so I had to like I lost a lot of footage. I had to like recover. I had to use two computers at the same time and some and some crazy fucking like it was wild. Yo, I had to bring that shit back from the dead. It took for fucking ever. DNA and C three versus or versus DNA versus C three happened on that card. I lost the footage like like or I didn't lose it. The fucking card corrupted and burnt it. Like it was fucked up, man. Mm-hmm. But it turned mm-hmm. out dope though. <laughs> <laughs> it turns right, out right. That, that, uh, but I gotta. Go, what is your, what is your favorite, edited battle ever? Like your your personal favorite. I know it's hard, but if you had to, if you had to pick one, what would it be? I ain't got one. If I can't, if you ask me, I couldn't do it. But I'm asking you. Yeah, man. That's a hard one. Because <laughs> I got a lot. You know what? My favorite one? Uh, uh, W-Dub versus Dot. <laughs> what? Yo, we had Dot on our shit, bro. Dot. Yeah. Dot, dot, like, dot, dot. Dot, Dot. They get Dot versus W-Dub. Versus. Like, yeah. Why yeah, I got to gotta watch that. That's not nah, that, that's that. my favorite edited battle, my nigga. Watch that battle and then ask yourself why you never heard of this. My nigga, like it's that's like it's crazy. an entertaining battle. It's dot. Niggas don't even know. We we had dude, we've had some <laughs> names over here, man. We've been here consistently, not just here in the city, but I mean like big names, big cars. Like we've been doing that for seven years consistent, bro. You know what I'm saying? Dude, but we ain't paying really the right dumb. people. Hey. Dude, we do. I see it. Dot vs. W Dub dropped four years ago. I gotta watch. Now I gotta watch this versus the see, see, see yeah, what it's hitting for. I gotta favorite. be. <clears throat> that's a personal favorite. So what's favorite. the what's the plan for 2020 for y'all, man? Like what's the what's the plan? Well, well, y'all y'all doing more big big joints or y'all going y'all gonna move it higher? What's the what's the plan? I don't gotta give it all away, but you know. Man, the plan is to um develop some more talent in the city because the city milwaukee man milwaukee wisconsin got some of the coldest battle rappers alive man and i don't say i put money on that i don't put up thousands of dollars versus other niggas and, and people go mute you know what i'm saying like we got right. some fucking fillers up here bro so i'm trying to like develop some talent 
so we can get our team, you know what I'm saying, replenished and, like, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? We the only league that went to another state to fucking battle. It's like we went to New York and battle we go hard. Mm. We won all of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Niggas got mm-hmm. watched. Like, it, was, it was crazy. Like, there's footage out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, shout out to them, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, we've done some shit, bro. Yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah. Like, we the first thing to do a lot of shit. We went to New York and sold out. We went to to uh, we went to New York twice. Come on, man. Yeah. Wow. Y'all went to, oh, y'all went to New York twice? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's crazy. I ain't even I I ain't even know that. But I mean, what I do know is that uh I'm glad to hear that y'all could, you know what I'm saying, that you that you gave a good you know, you gave your side of the situation or whatever, you know what I'm saying. I know you don't want especially when you're in business, you know what I'm saying, anybody be looking at y'all crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like and I do respect y'all reaching out humbly and wanting to uh, you know, just tell me what was going on, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think that that puts things into a good perspective. And overall, you know, you said the battle's not dropping on the app, you know what I'm saying? It's going to drop with the edits. And I think at the end of the day, building y'all brand is is very important, but keeping in mind what the fans would would have probably wanted. And I know, like you said, it would have eventually dropped with the effects, but for it to originally drop with them, it's also pretty cool too. That's just my personal opinion. You know what I'm saying like I got no vested interest in it. I just want to see what's best for how do you all like the outside. You know what I mean? How do you like huh? that? How do you like that? How do I like which one you are? At? Yeah. How do I like um it's good. It's getting better. Um, you know, I like the fact that content is starting to be, you know, flowing on there a little bit more often. They starting to do some different things with it. Uh, you know, obviously you gotta they gotta continue to, you know, bring different, more innovative stuff, but Overall, it's, good. it's a good thing. I like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have no real issue with it, you know what I'm saying? And it's only $8. People complain, like, oh, my goodness, it's this. And I'm like, bro, it's $8. You know, we spend $8 every day on random stuff, you know, so we can support something that's going to help build, build Battle Rap and make Battle Rap grow. But I do see where the artists have issues because if they battle on different platforms, this was the, this was another grievance. I want, I want to flip it back to you. They say when they battle with, with different leagues, like, y'all, in different smaller leagues, they charge y'all one price. They charge URL another price. So if the URL gets to battle off y'all, they not getting the price that they normally get. You know what I'm saying? They say they feel like they're getting shortstop. All right. So what they should also realize is that <clears throat> when they battle away from home in a place like like a city, a small city like Milwaukee ain't the size of a New York. It ain't the size of an Atlanta. It ain't the size of a California. It ain't the size of a Texas. You know what I'm saying? There's 600,000 people in this motherfucker. Like, and you know battle rap is not this huge thing. We got to fly niggas here. We got to put them in hotels. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit adds up. So Mm. if we talking like, like Summer Madness, if I was doing Summer Madness type shit, rapping like a thousand motherfuckers and shit, like, yeah, I'd be like, all right, let's talk, but this ain't that, bro. We do well for yeah, our city. Is. We've been holding our city down. We've been holding down the Midwest. We top ten in the world. Like, we do something, right? Hell so, yeah. Hell yeah. So, so You can't even compare, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know? So it's like, if that's how you feel, like, all right, well, I'm giving, I'm giving them, like, a little break. Well, I'm giving you a break because I'm taking interest in buying what you're selling. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because we not some yeah. no name league. Like, like if you got cartel on your business card, like that's pretty dope. We not gonna front yeah. like that's like this ain't a mutual interest for both of us. We ain't you know what I'm saying? Band Aid Battle League. Like we, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like niggas know who we are. Like yeah, it's, it's, like, one, of, it's like, one of the bigger ones. We one of the bigger leagues in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not like y'all Ricky yeah. Dink Battle League that just got here in 2019. And y'all only gonna pop up during tax season. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. <laughs> this ain't, this ain't that. And it's something else. And it's something else. Niggas should take into account too. They should see how we do do business because when we do business, we do business with the same people often because they do good mm-hmm. business by us. So this could be an opportunity mm-hmm. for him to get outside of the league that he doesn't want to fuck with. But mm-hmm. you chose 
to make it look like something that it wasn't. And that's whacking that, but it's like, yo, like, oh, we can do business further in the future. We didn't pull it from the app because of this situation. Oh, you just, just oh, okay. So, yeah, you got that clear. Let's get that clear. You didn't pull it from the app because of that situation. Yeah, okay. yeah. It just so happens that, like, like that also works in unison with what with, with, with the situation was. Mm-hmm. I, on the side of all of this, feel like, damn, do do feel like he feel how he feel about the situation. Let me explain my side of it. And that's pretty mm-hmm. much where we're at right now. I'm not salty at mm-hmm. dude. He gave me good product. Like, the fucking battle was dope. You know, I hate that he feels that way. But he feels that right. way. Not for a fault or not for a true reason. Mm-hmm. He could have reached out to me. Right. Right, right. No, I definitely um I definitely understand that. Well, um I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? I definitely appreciate it. Um I'm glad that we could uh you know, you can get your side of the story out. I hope that we see uh Danger Zone versus Trez. We will definitely be recapping and I promise you that, you know what I'm saying? And um if you I'll need anything or you know what I'm saying? I got you, bro. I, I definitely got you. We can't have all this commotion without talking about the battle when it drops. You know what I'm saying? Like we have to talk about the battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we. That's what this is all about. So, man, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna come back and and uh, talk about who you think won. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I definitely got you, bro. We can definitely um. Now, in, man, thing, you know? though, like I can't judge my own battle. But you I can tell you about it. Don't do. <laughs> I can talk about it though. I can definitely oh, yeah, talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, I you know we can talk about it, but yeah, yeah, it, it's let's dude, do that. It's a let's crazy do that. Let's battle. Do that. It's a crazy battle. Let's do that. Now, well, you know what though? I hope that all of this, now that we're here at this point, is just more promotion for when it actually drops, and you know people could get definitely get to see it. Because I mean, when I talk about it later, you know, I, and hopefully it's, it's talked about the way it needs to be. And it gets the looks that it deserves, you know what I'm saying? So that can be an end-all, be-all, you know what I'm saying? And then hopefully y'all can do some business in the future. I'm sure y'all will talk. But I'm glad that you, you know, got to reach out and give me your side of the story, you know what I'm saying? And I and I definitely respect what y'all doing over there and keep it going, you know what I mean? Man, appreciate it, man. Thank oh, good, man. I got your number. I'm going to lock you in. We're going to definitely rap, bro. My man. All right, appreciate you. All right, take it easy. One.